Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel one more time. And uh, you know, today, today we're gonna we're gonna talk about something different. It's about the business and how they how they use uh, Salesforce, how the end users accept the Salesforce. It's it's really exciting. So let let's start something uh, with uh, with a slide uh, that I have created um, to welcome everyone. Right here is my contact on the left hand side. You can follow me Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Keep commenting. Keep um, you know telling tell me what what's next. What kind of videos you want to watch next one? Um, my today's topic is case management in Salesforce. And let's see uh, what let's see case management in action. It will be a short video um, just to focus how the interface looks like eh, and uh, how it works. Okay. Next slide. <clears throat> so what the topic we're going to cover is create, related, fields, owner, task. There will be few more, uh, which is again, it will come under the related, but it's all about case, okay? So be ready, business users. I know some of them want to create training materials, some are working on it, um, but today's focus is purely a case, okay? Um, definitely cover the question answers later on, um, but that will be part of comment. Okay, let's stop my slide and take the things uh, in action. And uh, this is Salesforce. This is how it looks like when you log in. You can see the dashboard. You can see on the right hand side a lot of list. Uh, there are different names, and they're all contacts. Okay. On the left, you can see uh, the bar chart is line is going up and down, which means it's a progress. It's a performance about, about the business. Below, on the left, you have events, tasks, record, key deals. Uh, again, key deals about all about sales, yeah? But anyway, uh, we, we, we're not discussing uh, sales here. We're discussing cases. So what type of people using cases? It can be customer services, it can be billing, it can be um, IT support, it can be technical team any, it can be for uh, 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 complaints, feedbacks. So like different different business, different scenarios, but you can utilize the, the cases uh, for that, okay? You can link the cases, web to case, you can link the cases, email to case, Facebook to case, Twitter to case, depending on you know what, what Salesforce all you're using, you can do all interconnected and, and take it from there. Right, what I have here, I have a service cloud. I have a service cloud selection here. You can do select from here. I've got two different tabs, uh -oh, really exciting. So look, if I click on Salesforce console, my tab is switched, it's drop down. Yeah, you can change, you can add more tabs. If you want to personalize as what you want, um, again, these are the same tabs that we look into. I go to contact accounts, it changes accordingly, right? But my favorite one is this one. I like everything on the top, okay? So I'll, I'll, I would keep this one, right? Just for this presentation, right? Okay, um, chatter, sending a post. So I am in Salesforce. Ooh, right, so let's type this. I'm announcing this to my company highlights. Guys, I'm on Salesforce, please connect with me. People can comment, people can like, people can share my comments, like a Facebook, right? It, it's, it's fine, right? You, if you want to run the polls, you can run, um, you know, it's, it's basically some fun stuff available on the chatter basically, but fun in the sense, business can use it and it's, it's just there, right? Out of box. Admins can set up uh, with your way. They can customize, configure notifications, etc. It works, but it's there out of box. Okay, accounts. Accounts are in a general term. We use client. You can have a suppliers. You can have customers. Plus person account, which means Cam. I'm a sole trader, and I work. Uh, but if, I, if you want me to add as an account, yes, it's called person account in Salesforce, but you need a special request to raise it with Salesforce. They can help you and they will create for you, okay? Um, all the names come here. You can see different list views uh, of, you know, how many new, how many platinum, 
this is all about the list views, basically what I want to see, how many my accounts, how much all accounts in the business with columns and rows. This is all structured, same as for the contact, same as uh, for the cases, okay? Reporting and dashboard, I'm not going to cover in this one. It will be really long one in a separate topic. We'll cover it um, in, 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 in the separate sessions, okay? Cases, can you see this little tiny? Uh, it's for pin. Right now I pinned uh, this for my cases only, but if I want to change, I can change, uh, let's say recently viewed, I can pin this, right? Look, I get the alert message as well. Yes, you pinned it. If I want to change it, this is Salesforce standard. Again, look, I have changed it, whatever, I can make it accordingly, okay? If I need a Kanban, I can do Kanban. Kanban on what? Uh, let's say I want a Kanban on status maybe, saving. So I can see the Kanban, new, working, escalated, closed. Look, it looks really funky. It's like a Kanban product story, right? Okay, come back, table. So not too fast, uh, just trying to show you guys as much I can about all funky stuff about the case management here. Um, so we have multiple columns uh, to use. Okay, and uh, you can add uh, more up to ooh, 15 to 20, I think not 20, definitely, I think it's 10 or 11. I, I need to Google it, sorry guys, not top of my head. Uh, I always use Google to find out these, but there is a limit, okay? I think it's 10, 11, not, not, uh, not, more, um, uh, not 20, okay? Right, let's create a new case and see the fields in the actions, okay? Uh, status, uh, normally, I think it's it's a standard environment. That's why I can see the first one is status, but normally people have subject on the top, which I have at the bottom. Okay, let's type on something here. Um, need to book service uh, for my car. Right, so what issues? So what, um, so, uh, okay, service and some other issues. Right. I can add many, I can add many, 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 many here. There is a limit. Salesforce has limits on, on these fonts, uh, sorry, these text areas and stuff, but I'm sure it's not going to hit your limit. Many, many things you can add it. Okay. So internal comments, again, it's a default field. Uh, companies keep it, hide it, depending on uh, your business process. Um, you can work on it and you can comment, test my, my first comment, okay? And if you want to send email to contact at the same time, who, uh, whoever is the default contact selected, he, will get, he or she will get the email. Save. Oh, how can I forget this one? Email, phone, or web, which means the case I received, why I'm creating, have I received phone call? Have I received email? Obviously, web is for the web automation. Email can be the automation as well because some people set up case to email um, and some people set up web to email. But now we also have a communities. We also have uh, you know some other channels, integrations type um, like WordPress is a very common thing. People do use WordPress to case or WordPress to lead. Anyway, focus is case only. Priority, I can increase, decrease. Status, I can change here, whatever I need it. And then all standard funky stuff. Let's choose the contact, Andy, and let's Andy have it here. And then I do have an account option. Let's put Edge Company. That's a company name. Type. Uh, yeah, you can have multiple different types, and you can have dependent types. Like, let's say I have a, I have a service, service one, and then sub service two. So I have a service for Nissan, Nissan car. Or, or I have a service for maybe Nissan Note or Honda Civic or Honda is a brand and then Civic is a model. So yeah, so I can have a one service, uh, the car, car name and at the bottom car model. So you can have these kind of categories or you know different type of serv services, uh, multiple different fields, okay? Moving down web form. Uh, if you're not using web to case, you don't, normally your admins remove these kind of fields from your from your layout. So this is all layout of the case. 
then you don't need to enter these fields, okay? Additional information about product. If you have any products, I mean, again, this is all pick list, yes, no, yes, no, and the list of products. You can go around 200, 250, uh, the pick list values, which is good. If there is any SLA violation, you say yes or no, depending on, you can create workflows based on that, and that will help in KPI reporting and stuff, basically, you can use, okay? Hit save. There you go. Case created. I got the case number at the top here, 1028, with number of zeros. And I get so much information about the case. On the left, post email call. On the right, I've got file, emails, app activities, and case teams, comments, and all that. And in the middle, what fields I have just filled in, they're all here. Okay. okay. So, so look, it looks, it looks all good. And if I want to send any updates uh, from here, I can send email, right? So Andy, I have sent notification. Look, email notification already saved here. Did Andy receive email? I'm sure, I, I don't, I haven't set up it. It's not gonna work, but, but yeah, it's there, okay? But, uh, again, I if I want to share a post here, let's say I want to send this to integration user. So what I do is here, I just put add sign, like Facebook, we do it. And I say username, I know Andy, um, and but Andy is a contact, so I'm not gonna mention Andy here, but I'm using my internal username, uh, let's say Steve, okay? And I say opened a case. Uh, and uh, yeah, Andy, uh, Steve will receive notification, but right now I'm calling it integration user, okay? Shared, I can put the case number as well if I need to, 1028 and hit share. It's like a chatter notification, he will get it. I can send email from here and I can also choose uh, the templates from here on the left-hand side and insert template and look, there's so many templates available for me new customer email or or I want a case response or I want case assignment maybe. Yeah, let's, that looks like a good one. So look, this is all email, email template automatically came in. I can just simply send it to him and uh, you know, Andy will receive my email and that's recording. Where exactly this all recording? It's recording on the right hand side, right? And recording here, two emails have been sent from the case, activity recorded, and I can, I can see the updates at the same time. That was the comment. Remember when I was creating the case, I put this comment there and it's automatically registered there, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click here, I put new comment, assigned to my team member, right? And hit save, second comment. Think about it, it's all collaborating, uh, right? It's all about collaboration, like every single information, whatever I'm doing about the case, everyone can see based on which team I am in right now. So I am the owner of the case, but I know I'm a member of the team as well because it's set up in the back end. okay? So all the team visibility does have. Now, if I want to involve the team members who are not in my team, but they are escalation two, which means analysts maybe. I want to involve the analyst team now because I can't resolve this issue. I can simply go here, case team, I can add the team members. Unfortunately, my team members not enabled here, but you get a, a pop-up and you add the name of the team and it works straight away. And it, it appears, add the team members, okay? And, and, and yeah, it's it, no issues with, with adding the members, okay? Adding attachment just from here, I can just pick any example from here and just, you know, upload a picture and let's say YouTube, just upload and adding as the attachment and done. So still, everything is linked to this case, it's all here. And it's a single screen where I can see everything, okay? If I want to change owner, I can change from here, little icon, get this pop up, cancel it. I can change from here. Here, let's say integration. There you go. I chose the user. If I want to send a notification to this user, hey, I assigned this to you. 
right? System will send notification to this user. User will receive emails. Saving. Done. Simple. Okay. Again, um, sharing. Um, I want to share this with anybody. I can again put the username. I can share, but I want to send as a uh, as a link only. This is extra feature. Again, some companies use, some don't use, depending on again your business scenario. Don't want to use it. Don't use it. Right. But functionality is there. Again, this is all out of box. Okay. Clone button is very good one. So cloning is, I want to clone this place. Look, everything is coming here. Look, I don't have to enter anything. Subject is there, description is there, product information is there, and, and contact, and the electrical, every single field with a single click, I can clone the whole case. People use this scenario only when they want to reopen the case after so many follow-ups, they didn't receive the reply from the client and they want to uh, they want to uh, you know clone it because existing cases because they pass the sla or they uh, like you know again validation scenarios people do stop it basically and that's where you use the single click to to copy to make a duplicate um, clone a case and start working on it like and and then obviously you will share the email templates to the users okay so that's a short video, guys. As I said, this is going to be a case, how we create case, how we send email, how we, how we create um, uh, the, the, the chat and notification, add attachments and all. Um, you know, the last thing I would like to show now how to create a task. So on the right-hand side, if you can see activity, it's say open activity and hit new, okay? Let's create one task for Cam. And I'm going to create a send a letter and assign it to him. And there you go, guy, do some work. And I put comments for him, um, assigning a task to work. Okay. And save. Done. Okay. Where the task gone? Uh, I'm sure on the right hand side, but I'm just checking on the left as well because you have a special tab called all updates. This is a magical app, magical tab, basically. It shows everything, what, what, what the updates happen in the case, okay? So you can see all the small, small, uh, you know, errors, basically, where it's expanding and telling you about what happened six minutes, five minutes, four minutes, and all that uh, data is here, okay? You want to write a comment on it because this is kind of a no um, chatter again. You can comment on it, what, what was done, you all have visibility, you can chip in and, and add, add, add your views basically about it, okay? Again, see the activity, it's, it's been created, send a letter task, it's available. If I want to make more changes, I can go into there and I can make amendments uh, wherever I need to update the comments, I can do, I can change uh, because you assigned to me, I can put comment or waiting for someone else, you can put the comments accordingly and change, right? Users will get notification and, uh, you know, it, it, it just works straight away uh, with single, single clicks. Create follow-up task if required. Um, you, can, you can do, so task after task, right? Depending on, again, business scenario, how you want to use, right? Again, many magical buttons available. So you want to change, obviously you can hit edit and change, change everything. Plus you have these buttons available by Salesforce. Uh, what you want to do, you can use these buttons as the action buttons. Um, so it's normally set up on Salesforce by um, by admins again uh, on the lay layout, like how you want to utilize this feature. But uh, but yeah, there you go. Uh, what we covered so far, I'm going to open my slide again, and uh, we covered create related case fields owner. And, and task and email plus other related objects, basically, guys. Um, so again, it's a short video. Uh, we'll catch up again and uh, I will start working on more and uh, we'll catch up. Any questions, please post in, in the, uh, on the YouTube um, channel and uh, we'll, we'll definitely catch up again. And let me know what improvements I need. Eh? I will carry on working. Thank you so much. Have a good day, everyone. Bye.